Good day, this is Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger and Forex U-Turn. Um, today is September 15th, 2011. And we're now about to look at the Forex Pipsnagger setups on the five minute time frame. Alrighty then, so we will go to the hourly. We'll take our line and move it over to 10 o'clock GMT go back to the five minute so now that we have the correct data in the filter below we're ready to proceed okay so it obviously gave the perfect gap opportunity right here okay to buy which was about 10 minutes before three but the filter below was not cooperating damn eh so anyway, it turned blue about when price got up to here, so after it broke through the res uh, resistance here. So your first opportunity to buy a dip was right here when it came into the trigger line. So if you did that, you made your 10, 15 pips. If you did it again, it went sideways on you, scared you, freaked you out a little bit, but then creeped back up and gave you more pips once again. Okay, that was pretty much it for the UK session then as you can see it grinded kind of sideways down a little bit and <laughs> what happened today I don't know <laughs> but when this bar closed at exactly you know nine o'clock and when this sucker opened at nine o'clock it just shot up like a 4x rocket ship Holy jeez Louise, did it shoot up. I was sitting here, I was watching, I was going, what's going on here? Anyway, shot up, came back down, gave you an opportunity to buy, but I wouldn't be buying that. I watched it go all the way up, all the way down, didn't touch it here, didn't touch it here, did not touch it at all today. Because you don't want to trade high risk moves. Once it came back down and it opened up right here, do you really want to take the risk that, oh, you think it's going to go back up higher? You know, you don't know where it's going to go. Nobody knows. It could have went right back down again. Yesterday, okay, that happened where it shot up 55 pips or something. Or no, it shot down 55 pips. And then as soon as that next bar opened, it shot right back up again, 55 pips. Um, and just to, to say to say the the worst here, I, I was in it and I, I had my some pips profit and I lost it so quickly. So anyway, um, there was no trades here today in the U.S. session. It was just a crazy crazy day. So anyway, now let's move on to the one minute time frame. And we'll go to the one hour and we'll move our line to our nine o'clock. There we go. Oh, we bounced over to eight o'clock. Nine o'clock we want. That's it. Okay, let's go back in time. We'll take the auto scroll off. Go back in time and look and see. See, here, I want to show you before we go over there. In one minute, ladies and gentlemen, it w shot up. Actually, it wasn't even one minute. That's just where the bar closed, okay? From the opening of that one-minute bar to the top, it was 83.2 pips, okay? But it shot up in like five seconds. It shot up about 60% of that move in that one-minute bar. It was just crazy, crazy stuff. Somebody obviously dumped some dollars. <laughs> Real quick, dump some U.S. dollars. Okay, let's go back to 9 o'clock. Okay, here's 9 o'clock. Ooh, not so good, not so good. Okay, so, as you can see right here, this was major support right here. This, too, you can count this as support. So when it came down here to a T... Okay, I'll move the line up just a bit. It bounced off here. Here, we're, here was our 9 o'clock bell. It sold off, came down here. I'll even move it a bit. There, see? Sold down rather quickly. I don't, how many pips did it come down? Let's take a look and see. 
seven and a half pips in two minutes came down shot back up okay but it came off support right here so there was no trade here because from anyway even even if it did break this and this by a pip or two there still wasn't 10 pips from entry see there was only still seven pips or yeah eight pips even if it broke these two lows there still was not enough pips from the entry to our 10 pip target price to support so there was no trade here okay and that's the reasons why then it gave the gap presentation right here okay but down in the filter it did not match up then it gave it again here and it, did, it didn't match up again down here it was like not cooperative whatsoever but then at three um three 3.30 or so is when it broke up through this resistance. Here, let me move the line up right there. Boom, okay? It broke through there, came back right here. If you were brave enough, you know, it broke through all of that mess that happened here, and you bought a dip somewhere in here, you definitely got your 10 pips. And that's pretty much it for the euro after that. Well, hold on. Yeah, see, this is past our time to trade. Our, our window of opportunity was over right here at 4 o'clock. Uh, actually, it was over right here, actually, at this top, double top. Okay, so there was one, there was just the one trade there, and it was a buy right in here. If you were brave enough to buy out once it broke out of this resistance. Okay, so that's it for the one minute time frame. Let's now take a look at the pound. So we'll go to the one hour. We'll move our line to 10 o'clock. Go back to the 5. Okay. So when it came up here, see it, it bounced off resistance here. Created the gap formation. There was no trade there. Even though it was blue in the filter at the time, there was no trade. The gap, even if we go back in time. Hold on, let's go back and look at it. And you'll see it was the correct gap. See? See the gap? That is the correct gap formation. But because it basically bounced off this one, this one, this one, this one, and bounced here off those one, two, three, four places, okay? Look at that, okay? Look at how many times it bounced off that exact price. And it did it again there and came down, and this is where we'd be buying. But we did not buy because it bounced off of resistance. Now... If it would if it would have broke through here, okay, then came down, that would have been your opportunity to buy. But it did not do that. It bounced to a T off that resistance. And that's why I show in my manual when you when you start to look trade to trade this thing, you put a line at the top, you find resistance, you put a line in the bottom where price touches more than once, and that's where you find support and resistance. You never ever buy into resistance and you never ever sell into support okay because traders are doing the opposite professional traders are buying off support and selling off of resistance let me get another drink here okay but we don't use support and resistance in that way we use it as a filter to not get into a trade and we use it as an exit point okay so once price broke through here, okay, and then came back into the trigger line, this is where we would have got long. Bought the dip, again, bought the dip, again, bought the dip. Dip, dip, dip. Woohoo! Okay, so that's it for the UK session. Now, in the US session, this here, okay, here's the crack gap and everything, but look down here, ladies and gentlemen. No red diamonds, no selling. So this upward move, same with the euro too. When it when it shot up, you know, when it was grinding down at this same point in time, it never get it never told you to sell because the filter was blue all the way through it. And it saved you from doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Okay. So anyway, we broke through resistance here, pulled back into the line. If you wanted to, you could have bought a a dip here and up she goes we would have made some pippies and that's it for the pound let's now look at the Swiss 
What did the Swissy do? Swissy went down. 10 o'clock. Okay, back to the 5. All righty then. Look at that. Okay, so here's our perfect gap presentation right here where we would have got short. Let's go look. Hold on. Yeah, and it basically broke through the support here. There was a little bit here where it bounced off of, as you can see. I can put a line there if you want to see it. There, see? There and there. Came back up, went back up, almost went out and hit your stops. But when it gave this opportunity to sell right here, okay, the filter was black, so there was no trade. So the only thing that you could have done with the Swissy was sell retracements all the way down once the filter turned red. So the red, the filter turned red here. You could have sold a retracement here and here. Okay, and basically, as you can see, the same thing happened with the Swissy. It shot down in the opposite way, like a rocket, or like a submarine down to the bottom of the sea. Okay. So anyway, that's it for the Swissy, and that's it for the Forex pip snagger setups for today and now we're going to move on to the forex u-turn signals after i take a little drink of water okay here we go wonder what it's going to look like oh not too bad okay the euro okay kind of gave you this flat m here uh, you know i wouldn't have done this trade here okay stay away from it and down here the filter did not confirm it but it gave a nice perfect W right here. So you would have got long somewhere at above 37.50 or so. And as you can all see to the top, not that you would have taken it to the top, there was about 160 uh, pips there that you had the opportunity to make. And it never would have came down anywhere near your stop loss. Okay, let's take a quick look at the pound. Oh, the pound's looking a little ratchet there, doesn't it? Okay. Anyway, there was no selling here. There was here, okay. Um, if you did get short, you didn't make very much. And, it, and then when it crossed back up and came to here, it would have got your stop. But this here is not a very nice looking W, is it? No, it isn't. This one is. Okay, so you really got to question these when these happen, when these freaky looking, you know, the lines are coming together like right here. That, that's not a good one either, you know, and this one here. You want to look at the nice M's, the nice W's. I keep saying this over and over to all you U-turn traders and there's a reason. And that is you're looking for the ideal formations. You're not looking for half-ass ones that won't cut the mustard at the end of the day for you. So anyway, uh, that's it for the Forex U-turn um, trade setups for today. Um, thank you for listening, and we'll see you tomorrow on Friday.